Well, the Pittsburgh Penguins' comeback was just a, a little bit short. On the National Hockey Now YouTube channel, I'm Dan Kangerski with the 5-Minute Penguins Wrap. And it, just when it looked like the Penguins got everything in order, got their game going in the third period on Sunday against the LA Kings, one more breakaway. Trevor Moore flew the zone. He was so far behind Brian Dumoulin, I don't think Dumoulin ever saw him as Moore had the breakaway goal for the game winner later in the third period. Now let's talk about the Penguins game and what it's been for the last, let's call it, uh, three weeks, really since the beginning of that West Coast road trip in earlier January through uh, the end of this month. The Penguins won a lot of games. They won their uh, six in a row without their best hockey. They played a little bit better against Detroit on Friday night. They played a good first period and a good third period against LA on Sunday. But the hockey gods, they give and they, they, they take away. That's what the Penguins had happen to them on Sunday. A terrible second period, really. Uh, just absolutely uh, loose. They were not covering the defensive zone very well. LA again pressuring with those stretch passes and flying the zone. The Penguins wanted to activate their defensemen, but LA countered with slipping their wingers back to the opposing blue line. Had a, a few breakaway chances. Trevor Moore scored, in fact, a couple of breakaway goals. That was one counter that LA kind of uh, foisted on the Penguins, but also the, the Penguins defensemen, I thought, in the first uh, two periods uh, anyway, especially in the first two periods, were not good with their activations. They were being maybe a little bit too aggressive. Chris Letang especially had a rough couple of minutes there in the second period, uh, including a, a goal against as he uh, flew up on the uh, the four on four to join the Penguins rush, but instead of slipping behind the puck where he would have had space, he went wide with the Penguins rush. So they had a three man rush, but very quickly LA transitioned for a, a two on one chance and put that in the back of the net. So LA had a couple of breakaway goals, a two on one goal, and really it was the result of the Penguins being too aggressive, not worrying about the details, not getting the puck down low, but rather. Uh, turning it over or or giving it up in the in the wrong spots on the ice. A lot of blame for Evgeny Malkin on social media. You know he he is the uh, the difference since the Penguins had their big ten game winning streak snapped. Malkin is the difference, and the Penguins are playing looser with Evgeny Malkin in the lineup. But Evgeny Malkin didn't play loose on Sunday. And there is the great juxtaposition. Perhaps some of the Penguins players are playing differently with Evgeny Malkin in the lineup, but that certainly doesn't rest on Evgeny Malkin's shoulders. Unfortunately for Malkin and Evan Rodriguez and Brock McGinn, I thought they had a very good first period, but they didn't uh, have a follow-up act in the second or the third period. In fact, after uh, 45 or 50 minutes, they had zero shots on goal. They did have one high danger chance uh, in the first period. Actually, it was a great little bit of uh, cohesion as Brock McGinn stole the puck at center ice. Evan Rodriguez was on the four check, fed Malkin in front and a good turning shot. I, I guess scorekeepers scored it was going wide and Cal Peterson made the save, but that's what you want to see from that line. That's why Brock McGinn is there. He adds that speed and that tenacity. Rodriguez is kind of the uh, the, the playmaker and Malkin is the uh, the driver. However, they're not getting it done and that's that's a little bit of a problem too for the Penguins. No one beyond the Sidney Crosby, Brian Rust, Jake Gensel line is getting it done. Once again, that line combined or actually provided all of the Penguins offense and that line provided a bulk of the, the scoring chances for the Penguins. Head coach Mike Sullivan said there's really nothing uh, that they can do. Guys have to step up. Malkin has to begin scoring at five on five. His points largely coming on the power play. I think the defense has to play a, a little smarter as well. I hate to say this because I was the one pushing the defensemen to activate more, but perhaps they need to play a little more conservatively and a little smarter because they're, they're, they're getting sucked into the play and uh, the play is racing past them. And Tristan Jari is having to bail out his team more than a, than a goalie should. So that's the uh, story. The Kings win 4-3. The Penguins sloppy. They've got one more game before the Olympic, the remnants of the Olympic break. 
That's Tuesday against the Washington Capitals. If the lowly Red Wings, Seattle Kraken, and the uh, long-distance LA Kings didn't get the Penguins' dander up, perhaps the uh, Washington Capitals will. From PPG, I'm Dan Kingerski on the National Hockey Now YouTube channel.